We just made Merit Vertunwil's uncle, who passed away last week. And the tradition of making merit and dedicating to other people helps to remind us that when we practice, we're not doing this just for ourselves. We're doing it for the sake of others as well. After all, we're looking for a happiness that doesn't harm anybody. We're also trying to be a good example to other people. So they would look for happiness that doesn't harm anybody either. And this way, the goodness that we're doing starts to spread around. This is one of the good things about the Buddhist teachings. It teaches us to look for a happiness that doesn't create divisions and actually overcomes divisions. If you're looking for happiness in wealth, status, praise, the things you gain are things that other people have to lose. The things they gain are things you have to lose. If that's what they're looking for. And then that kind of happiness creates divisions, creates conflict. The kind of happiness that comes from being generous, that being virtuous, and from training the mind. That erases those boundaries. Because after all, when you're generous, you benefit. The people you help are benefit, benefit as well. When you're virtuous, the people that you're dealing with have less reason to be afraid of you, that you might harm them. You benefit, they benefit too. And then when you're meditating, you're trying to bring under control the amount of greed, aversion, and delusion in the mind. So there's less in your own mind, and there's also less coming out in your thoughts, and your words, and your deeds. So in this way, the goodness we do is goodness that spreads around. So try to make as much of this kind of goodness as you can. They call it making merit, and it's something that you have to make. You make a decision that you want to do something good with the world, rather than just seeing yourself as a victim of the world, or wanting to be entertained by the world, or wanting to conquer the world. You want to do something good for the world. And this is where it starts with these three practices. So in any place where you see that your own practice is deficient, you can add to it. We have that opportunity, because the goodness of merit is something that's available to us all the time. The goodness of doing the action, the thinking about doing the action, doing the action itself, and then the results that come from it, all these things are happy. Again, this is different from ordinary happiness. Sometimes you think about something that you want to do to gain some pleasure. And part of the mind realizes that, that may not be all that skillful, but there's a battle already, even before you do it. Then when you do it, and then when you're done with it. There may be a little bit of pleasure someplace in there, but then there's an awful lot of regret sometimes, or denial. That kind of happiness doesn't really help anybody much at all. So look for the kind of happiness that's good for yourself and good for other people. That's the best kind there is.